What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Tori. It's your boy Travis. <laughs> and today guys, we got a really, really fun video for you guys today. I know a lot of you guys are always interested in kind of just diving in a little deeper into our relationship. And we thought it'd be really, really, really fun to kind of play this game, I guess. Um, Wait, you, you playing games? <laughs> Not with you, baby. What kind of games you playing? I'm always straight with you. Wait, what you got down there? Okay, we looking at. Oh, sorry. Keep your eyes on the camera. My bad. <laughs> I mean, that's got like a nice little view right there. I was gonna hope we could play some other games, but let's get into whatever games you're talking about. You sexy. gonna be good today? <laughs> what, what, what do we got? <laughs> Listen. You know I can't make no promises. That's true. We've got this really fun game for you guys today that we're gonna do. Um, it's kind of like, it's gonna be a mix of like just regular questions that you guys wanna know about our relationship, but also it's gonna be kind of like informative because we're gonna do kind of like a who's more likely to. We're gonna hold up. I have a Tori and- Look. Already going over that Travis, way. you have so many people that say, oh my God, if we just had a relationship like yours, we'd be so much better. And I'm like, we have a great relationship, don't get me wrong, but it's not all peaches and cream over here, you know what I mean? Like, we, we have ups and downs like regular couples. We just happen to just be best friends. And, ooh, a fun fact. I moved in with Travis a week after meeting him. A week, y'all. Yeah. Like, it was, wasn't it? I, I don't even think it was. It was more like probably three or four days. Was it three or four days? You mm -hmm. know the moment you saw me, you couldn't get enough of me. That's you know true. No, no, <laughs> that is very true. Because I couldn't get enough of you. No, That's I was, why I moved yeah, in with you. No, no, I was not resisting at all, but I was like, she, she was... She was in my place in no time, and mm -hmm. and all, I never left. She never left, and you know what? I'm so glad you did. <laughs> I know, like marriage, kids, home. <laughs> like, what two a year later? Two years? Later? I don't even know. Anyway, guys, it's been three years. It's, okay. it's been three years. It's three years since we've been together. We've been married for almost two, and oh, we have yes. a one-year-old daughter. So that's very true. Come back to reality, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so high off of love with you. I forget sometimes. <laughs> all right, y'all. We need to. All right, well, let's get to this. Let's get to. This I haven't thing. seen the questions, so this is gonna be new for me. We're gonna do our best to give you accurate answers from our perspective. So let's go. You ready? Let's do it, y'all. Come on, babe. You got this. All right, guys, so a special thanks to Sitford for sponsoring today's video. Sitford is a fragrance subscription service that lets you choose from over 600 different perfumes and colognes. Sitford allows you to choose a new fragrance every month for only $16. And it's flexible, so you can even skip a month if you don't want a fragrance for that month. You can even upgrade to receive two or three products. So it comes in this cool little case, mm -hmm. and check this out, guys. You just twist it, mm -hmm. pop it up, and then bam. That's actually eight times bigger than a regular sample of cologne or perfume. That's a lot. It is. So this is a 30 day supply of cologne right here, guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's really cool because you get to actually try it out before you commit to buying a full bottle. So one of the things we really love about these is that these are travel size and Travis and I are always traveling. We're always on the go. So it's just nice when you can have this and put it in your little travel bag and take it with you. Now, Sinfer works directly with top designer brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, just to name a few. They also work with other indie labels like Vince Camuto, The Harmonist, and Confessions of a Rebel. Now let's say you're like me and you don't know what kind of perfume or cologne you actually really do like, mm -hmm. not a problem. You can take a sample quiz on Scentbird and you can discover what you like and new fragrances as well. This month, guys, I got Gucci Bloom, which Ooh. I absolutely love. Let's spray a little on. Ooh, Ooh. let me smell that. That's, mm. Come on, tell me. That smells, actually, that smells really good. You like it? That smells really good. This smells so good. It smells clean, you know it, what I mean? It does. Very, very clean, very sweet, very flowery. I'm like a delicate flower. It <laughs> is. But you know what compliments you just well is my Burberry, guys. Oh, yeah. I love this smell, okay? Mm -hmm. It's kind of got like a rose, nutmeg, mm -hmm. ginger. Mm -hmm. All right. A real clean, what, do you, what do you think, baby? Mm. I'm also excited about trying other niche brands that they have, such as Catherine Maladrino's Transcendent, Floris London's German Street, and Malin and Getz Bergamot. Okay, guys, now click on the link in the description below and use our code to get 55% off your first month's order. That's just about $7 a month for your first yeah. month. That's pretty good. It's crazy. So click on the link below and start smelling good today. Today, guys. So the first one. Oh, who fell in love first? Wait, so are we, are we holding up something? Yes, we're okay. holding, you, you're gonna, from your perspective, who do you think fell in love okay, first in sure. our relationship? 
Okay. Okay. On the count of three. On the count of three. Let's do it. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> what do you have? Tori? Oh, ah, yeah, she did. Yes. I fell in love first, guys, as you know. She actually said I love you like probably like about a week, a, a couple days after she moved in. So like a week and a half later, mm -hmm. I was leaving and then she goes, I love, and I said, huh? And she said, oh, oh never mind, never mind. And, I and I said, no, I wasn't going to pressure it. I said, okay, cool. And then yeah. I left and then she was like still in the bedroom. I think you're like, you know, like still in bed or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then I messaged her and I was like, hey, what were you going to say? I was going to say, I love you to him. And then I got really shy. She did. She so I, I was like. I, and I stopped. Mm -hmm. I goes, so. I, and I knew it. I said, I said, think. I said, what? You know yeah. what I mean? I wasn't going to press it. She said, uh, uh, nothing. Yeah. And I, I said, I, I love you first. Yeah. I no, did. no. I think I texted you and I think I said, were you going to say I love you? And you said, yeah. And I said, yeah. aw. And I said, I love you too, sexy. Yeah. That was like our first I love you. It was our first I love you. And it was a week and a half was, later. It was a week and a half later. Isn't that after, crazy? After we met each other. A week and a <sighs> half after we met each other, y'all. I know. I said I love you. It was Everything happened so fast. But we did everything fast. And you guys, we don't really want to go into that date night. Our first date was already like not even first base. It was like third base, fourth base. I don't know baseball guys, but anyway, it was it was it was a lot of action. It on was the first basically day. it was so, a home run. Who spends more money in our relationship? Okay, you ready? Interesting. Who spends? Okay, let's who go. Who spends more money? Okay, on the count of three, babe. Three. I do. <laughs> Travis, that's fu that's funny that you actually said, that, you, that you picked me. Travis spends more money in our relationship. It's so crazy, guys, because. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it. I want to hear this. A lot of people probably would think I spend a lot of money in this relationship, but I'm actually quite frugal. She is. I am very, 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 very frugal. And it's crazy because we make a lot of money, but at the same time, I just don't believe in spending a lot of money. I like, you know, getting a deal, so to speak, or I like saving money. You know, I'm a coupon kind of person. That's just how I am. And Travis... I, I li well, I literally got to tell her, I'm like, baby, just just do it. And she'll, she'll, I'll be like, we'll be there in wherever place or at home, she's like, oh, I wanna, you know, get this, whatever. And then I'll literally see herself talking herself out of it. And I'm like, yeah. no, 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 sexy, like, come on, bring it back. Uh -huh. And then, but yeah, so me, I'm just kind of like, if I want it, I get it, yeah. that's just how I do. But obviously, you know what I mean, I don't, I, I don't go crazy, but mm -hmm. you know, I just, you know, if I want something, I get it. That's work, how hard it is. Hard. <laughs> work hard, play hard, exactly. So that's how I do. I definitely spend more money for sure. You do, you yeah. do, but you deserve it. You well, you deserve it. it too. You just you talk yourself out of it. That's true. And I gotta talk yourself back in it. You're the. I let you buy me these expensive gifts, but I won't buy it for myself. That's just how I am. <laughs> it's so funny. Like she's like, oh, I want this, and all of a sudden she's like, well, you know, oh, no, I'll, I'll just find it somewhere else, or I'll, I'll look here, and I'm like, no, ba babe, no, yeah. you're doing it again. Get it. So the next question is, who's more likely to, I guess, be touchy feely and show affection, like PDA? And like in okay, public. Yes, in public. Who's more likely to, Man. or in general, be more touchy uh, and more like lovey and can't keep your hands off the other person? Who's more likely to do that out of the two of us? <laughs> Ready? Ready. Let's go. Boom. What? I'm going to say both of us. I said you. I know, but see, we're both very affectionate. Can you say both of us? I, you know, I'm going, like, I really can't pick one. I can't really say that I am mm -hmm. because you are just as much as I am. So that's true. I wouldn't really say either one of us really is like really? over the other person. Yeah. What do you okay, think? Okay, I could see that. I think we're pretty equal on that. But I will say, you obviously you're a guy, so I feel like you touch me more than like I touch you, or like you're more affectionate. Like you're always like feeling on me, and mm -hmm. like you know, I don't know. You're always touching me and kissing me and. Whatever, so I don't know. That's just how I feel. Because you look good. I mean, that's just that's why. That's so how it is. <laughs> well, thank you. He's he's so full of compliments today. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say both of us. Yes, I would agree. That's that's a hard one. Really? Yeah. Okay, so that brings us to this question. Now, this one is a very spicy question. So shout out to the person who did ask this question because it's very personal. But Ooh, we're gonna okay. answer it because nothing's off limits. Uh, the question is, who's more likely to initiate fun time? If you know what you mean. Ooh, okay. Okay, you ready? Ready. Ready and go. What is that? Toy. I'm more likely to. You are, yes. How? Because you are. So I'm more really? of like, I'm more of like the build upper, and then you're more of like the, like, 
let's get to it. Oh, well, that's true. But, but who initiates it? Who starts the process first? Well, that's probably me. That's you. That's definitely me. You start the process first. Like, I I obviously want you all the time. But, like, I think the question is more like, who says, let's get it going first? I think it's you. I mean, that's what happened last night. I said, <laughs> I said listen, like. It's been a long day. You're getting it sexy. <laughs> that's exactly what happened last night. Okay, yeah. So you do you think it's still me or you think it's you? See, I think that's another 50-50. But you know what? I, all right. I, I'm going to say it probably me. I think you're right. I think sure. you. I think, I think sure. you're for sure. But at the end of the day, obviously, I always want it. But like guys are just like that. I feel like you, most guys do kind of get it going. But like me, I'm a, like, I like to play kind of like backseat. I like to like you to like want me and stuff. So like even if I do want you... I let you, I wait until you like, you know, come and after then, me. And then she likes to be controlled a little bit. Well, you didn't have to share <laughs> that. This is why baby number two could be here any day you now. know. Because of you. Is that a question? Is baby number two coming? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Next question. Who is more likely to start an argument? Mm. Mm, you or me. That is a very good question. I know. Man. This, this is easy. This is... Easy, easy, easy. Who's more likely to start an argument? I got this right now. I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Ready and go. Me, right? <laughs> Me. I am I am more likely to start an argument. That is absolutely right. <laughs> I'm not proud of that, okay? I'm not proud that I'm more likely to start an argument. I don't think you try to. No, I don't try to. But I'm not going to lie. I, sometimes I get like a little like irritated sometimes and so sometimes I may like take out my anger on you a little bit I'm not gonna lie I mean not anger I wouldn't say like anger but like like frustration maybe not with you necessarily but like maybe it's about something else and then it'll kind of like trickle down to you <laughs> so stuff like that I think I feel like it's like that. it's not like necessarily directed towards you but you bear the brunt of it I'm gonna let you speak on this one that's, that's this, what this I got speaking, that's cause... what I got to say all right, that's What do it. you think? So you chose me, but why? For exactly what you just said, sexy. That's exactly... Interesting. <laughs> that's, no, 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 I'm saying I, you put it so good that I don't even I don't even have an explanation for it. Honestly, I feel like that's another 50-50. I think we we both have our, our times of, like, our irritableness, you know what I mean? And I think that kind of, like, we'll start, like, you know, I'm not really, like, an argument, but, like, a little, like, scuffle, I guess it would be. A scuffle? Scuffle, wait, that sounds like we just kind of fight, doesn't it? <laughs> We're like duking it out, you imagine like, us? Y'all, we don't Look even, this. yeah, we don't even like Ready? argue, we just straight fight. We just like, one, do it like this, ow, stop it. Help, guys, she's beating me, stop. Ow, 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 ow. No, I <laughs> know, like we, we, we don't fight. Um, That's actually yeah. pretty uh, helpful. That was, it. That, that, was that like therapeutic? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just feel that I'm more chill and you're more That's like, true. you're more high strung. So you kind of have like a little bit more like, you get a little more anxious than I do. I can see that. Yeah. So that, that's, that's why I go with that. I'm pretty chill. I'm laid back. I'm like, whatever. Actually, I, I, I love how you are. Like, oh. yeah, I really do. Well, am I because like I'm like chill. I'm like, whatever. And you're and like most time that you're like, no, this or that. You're usually right. But I'm just like, whatever. It's all good. We'll figure it all out. Because what is it? Happy wife? A happy life. <laughs> you know, I like that saying, but I really think that it's like, you know, I want my husband to be happy too. I want you to be I happy. I am happy. I think, no, 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 I know. But like a lot of times uh, guys will be like, oh, happy wife, happy life and stuff. But I think it should be equal. And then inside they're like, ugh, yeah. my wife. I know. I think it should be equal. So yeah, I, I sure. like, I you, like. You, you know, you are very good at that. Mm -hmm. She like, y'all like to yeah. be like 100% honest, like Tori's very like, <laughs> She's very giving. She's very like concerning. Like she's always like, I want to make you feel good. Like mm -hmm. I want to do this. I want to do that for you. And you know, she'll be like, you know, like I want to give you back rub, and I'll be like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna give you. I like, like I want to reciprocate it, right? Mm -hmm. And she's like, no, like I want to make you feel good, right? Yeah. So there, there's all sorts of things that you do, honestly, sexy. That like, yeah. it's it's like, you, you're very giving and you're very yeah. pleasing and you're very just like. You know, um, it was amazing. So I, yeah. I, I just, <laughs> I, I hate to say that you're the, the argument starter, but because you're really not, you know what I, I mean? I am. 
<laughs> it's okay. I am. But the thing about a lake, it's not about like, you know, arguing. It's about like how you argue. We do a good job of like not letting things get out of hand. Okay, so the question is, who is more jealous out of the two of us? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Who is more jealous? Okay, I got the answer to this one. <laughs> Ready? And go. What do you say? You? <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> Travis, I'm gonna have to say you're more jealous. Do you care to share why? You know, I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> just, I, I just tend to be more jealous. I don't even know why. That's can, a normal can, thing. Can, can you explain it? I think, I think honestly, out of this, like, this question is probably, I've watched a lot of these, like, more likely to videos, and, like, who's more likely to, and it's always a guy. For it's sure. always a guy, but I think, honestly, it's just, guys are just more like that. I don't know. I don't know why, but I just, I feel like, of course, that's, that's our case, too, but I don't know the reason. It's just, like, how guys are. Because we know that, like, every girl gets hit on. We know every girl, like, Guys are just crazy, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we almost have to be more jealous because we know that it's happening more like in your favor than in our favor. Mm. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. Yeah, it's interesting. All right, so for the next question, who is more likely to go to bed early? Oh, easy. <laughs> this is easy. I'm gonna say, who goes to bed early? You. Travis. <laughs> you. Yes, Travis tends to go to bed early. That's because after I get to doing my thing, y'all, like, I'm tired. <laughs> Why does so everything like... revert back to that? Because <laughs> you're that, bad. That's what happens before you go to bed. <laughs> that's, that is, that is, oh, you know what? <laughs> that's a good point. I usually, well, I would say I got to get up early, but you get up the same time I do with winter, so. I do. Why, but, why but do it's I because, tend to go to bed earlier? Well, because you... Travis owns his own business, so he works um, kind of whatever you want, but he still works. And I'm a stay-at-home mom. I work too, but like, you know, I don't work like a nine to five or anything like that. So but, I think that like I have a, I can stay up later because I, you know throughout the day I'm not like really working, working. But, but taking care of a, a one-year-old all day is <sighs> that's, true. that's pretty hard. I mean, just because you're not out there physically working, yeah, it's probably more exhausting than what I'm doing every day. That, that could be so. Um, because I, I wonder how many steps you get around this house. Like, I mean, this house is all Chasing like, winter? Yeah. It's crazy. If you don't know, guys, yeah. winter is our one-year-old beautiful, amazing daughter. <laughs> or should I say our 14-month-old yeah. daughter. There you go. Well, we normally do go to bed at the same time. So I don't know. I, it's not like I lay on the couch and I pass out or whatever watching a movie. Yeah. We normally do go to bed at yeah, the same time. True. But if, if someone is to fall to bed or if someone is to go to sleep earlier, mm -hmm. it'll definitely be me. All right. The question is, who is more funny? So who is the funniest out of the two of us? Easy. Okay. Easy. Easy. Okay. Well, come on, big boy. Big daddy. You ready? And go. What would you say? You? No, you are not as funny as me. I'm the funniest person I know. I know. You You're pretty funny, don't funny. get me wrong. It's me, I'm funny. You are funny. But I have great jokes. Exactly, okay, so I think this is a win-win. You wanna know, wanna know why? Why? Because I feel like if you don't think you're the funniest person you know, then like, you should always feel like you're the funniest person. No, you should feel like I'm the funniest person because I'm supposed to be the person who makes you laugh all the time. You do make me laugh, but I feel like my jokes are funny and sometimes you don't laugh at my jokes. <laughs> because I am the comedian here. <laughs> but, okay. But I'm, but my jokes are funny, sexy, and sometimes you don't laugh at them and I think they're funny. So I laugh at your jokes and I think my jokes are funny, you which just, makes me the funniest. You have a different humor than me. You do. Your jokes that your <laughs> jokes that you laugh at are it's you 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 laugh at like I like dry humor and. I don't know if you like dry humor. I like dry humor. I mean, The Office is like my, the funniest show ever. No, that's true. I that's love, pretty dry I, humor. I, I do love. I do love The Office. I think it's pretty good. But like, I. You're pretty funny, sexy. Thank you. Well, funny looking. No, oh, you're funny. Okay, thank you. You're pretty funny. Because, well, I think you're funny too. When when I'm with this guy, I'm telling you, I laugh, laugh, and laugh, and laugh. We have a good time together. But I still think I'm the funniest. <laughs> what did the sheep say to? Uh, the bad dog. 
Here we go. Here. I don't know sexy, what is it? Bad dog. I'm laughing because you think it's funny. It it's, is. It's, it's not funny. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm laughing because I don't think it's funny, and I think that it's it, funny that you think it's I funny. I think it's funny. Whatever. I'm fine with thinking that it's funny by myself. I will laugh by mm. myself. That was really fun. Thanks so much for tuning into our video. You know, I actually learned a lot about you, this. You I, really for did? sure, yeah. I like me too. I, I'm living this and I learned a lot. <laughs> so hopefully you guys learned a lot too. Hopefully we made it fun and exciting and you guys learned something about us. Yeah, because see I thought it was fun. I actually learned something about you too. For sure, yeah. But or about us. Um, but yeah, no, this was so fun. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. And even if you didn't like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe because you may like the next one. The next video, yeah. We don't always do videos like this, guys. This is just <laughs> yeah. what you guys wanted to ask us. Yes. So we gave it to y'all. So yes. once again, guys. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. Um, what are you gonna tell them, baby? Well, of course, I'm gonna tell you that wherever you go, there you are. So what, babe? Make the best of it. Make the best of it. We love you and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>